Welcome to Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of stopping by, you like the channel and the video, please subscribe and put on your notification bell so that you will be able to know when I upload a new video. In this channel, I bring to you information across the globe, what is happening in the world, especially Nigeria. So after watching the video, your opinion, your contribution is highly needed. Do it constructively in the comment section. As we are going to watch this video together, yes, I'm watching it together with you. Then later, we'll come to the comment section to discuss about it. Remain blessed as we watch. With the Catholic bishops of the Southeast, of Nigeria, we just ended an emergency meeting on the state of the nation, and here we are greeting you, our people in Nigeria and beyond Nigeria. Uh, the state of Nigeria in different parts of our country with so much violence, insecurity, and anxiety is a, state, is a source of major concern to us bishops. That is why we had to have this meeting. And in the process, we have addressed a number of issues that are bothering us and which are part of the reason for the worrisome nature of our country today. First of all, the injustice, the insecurity that is very noticeable at various levels of government and the high-handedness with which government and security personnel approach various segments of this nation and this has led to a lot of public outcry public dismay and disappointment and in the light of this there are provocations and reactions from the people because they would like government to respond to the genuine needs and outcry of the people and so we come speaking to you our people at various levels of government and across the nation to see that this nation is in grave danger unless we bring a new spirit, a new approach. So we challenge the government to look into security matters and restrain those who are using weapons of various sorts to intimidate people and to create this unrest, we expect a stoppage of the carnage that is taking place in farmlands in various locations. We also challenge our people at large to recognize that every human life is sacred and as fellow citizens we need to cherish one another, bring a spirit of respect, of mutual appreciation so as to minimize and eliminate the bad blood that is circulating in Nigeria and that, is, that has created this sense of uh, dismay in our country. God created us and made us to live as a great country, but as it is now, this country is a source of dismay across. But we look forward, we rely on God to continue to direct us to the more noble path in this nation. It is good to note that the lopsidedness of application of justice by the government is worrisome. For example, the government has found it necessary to disarm those who are struggling for self-defense while leaving those armed herstmen bandits and what have you who are mesmerizing, killing, maiming and destroying people. Instead of addressing the source of the problems 
addressing the cries of the people they are crushing those who are crying. The government should be fair in their dealings with the people. We rely on God who never fails. We call on all men and women of goodwill to continue to pray. Nothing is impossible with God. Do not be afraid. God will deliver us. The Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. From today, June the 6th, 2017, when this proclamation is signed, the North, a critical player in the Nigerian project, hereby declares that it will no longer be disposed to coexisting with the Ebos and shall take definite steps to end the partnership by pulling out of the current federal arrangement. Two, this conclusion is necessitated by the realization that it seems ceased to be comfortable or safe to continue sharing the same country with the ungrateful and cultured Ibos who have exhibited reckless disrespect for the other federating units and stained the integrity of the entire nation with their insatiable criminal obsessions. Three, rather than certain sections holding the whole country to ransom at every stage, each should be allowed to go its own way. As we categorically proclaim today that the North is fed up with being the same country with this pack of acrimonious Igbo partners. Four, the North hereby openly calls on the authorities and other national and international stakeholders to acknowledge this declaration by taking steps to facilitate the final dissolution of this hopeless union that has never been convenient to any of the parties. Prelude to final separation. One, recovery and control of landed property. As a first step, since the Igbo have clearly abused the unreciprocated hospitality that gave them unrestricted access to and ownership of landed properties all over the north, our first major move shall be to reclaim, assume and assert sole ownership and control of these landed resources currently owned, rented or in any way enjoyed by the ingrate Ibos in any part of northern Nigeria. Consequently, officials of the signatory groups to this declaration are already mandated to commence immediate inventory of all properties, spaces or activity in the north currently occupied by the Ibos for, for feature at the expiration of the ultimatum contained in this declaration. In specific terms, the groups are directed to compile and forward an up-to-date data of all locations occupied by any Ibo in any part of northern Nigeria, including schools, markets, shops, workshops, residences, and every other activity spaces. Two, relocation notice. Secondly, with the effective date of this declaration, which is today, Tuesday, June the 6th, 2017, all Igbos currently residing in any part of northern Nigeria are hereby served notice to relocate within three months, and all northerners residing in the east are advised likewise. Three, enforcement. All northern civil society and pressure groups are by this declaration mandated to mobilize for sustained coordinated campaigns at their respective state government houses, state houses of assembly, local government council secretariats and traditional palaces to mount pressure for steps to be taken to ensure enforcement of the directives contained herein. Conclusion. In conclusion, we are hereby placing the northern authorities the Nigerian authorities and the entire nation on notice that as from the 1st October 2017, we shall commence the implementation of visible actions to prove to the whole world that we are no longer part of any federal union that should do with the Ibos. From that date, effective, peaceful and safe mop-up of all the remnants of the stubborn Ibos that neglect to heed this quick notice shall commence to finally eject them from every part of them.
welcome to my channel. If this is your first time or first day of coming across my YouTube channel or seeing my face, you are highly welcome. Please be comment to my next channel. My name is Linda Chukwezi. Please comment, comment that says subscribe, and you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be able to get information okay. on the bis zum nächsten video und einen schönen tag tschüss, tschüss. bis man yes, subscribe to linda's tv show what are you waiting for click on that red button that says subscribe you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be getting more updates from me leave your, your comments down below and share this video with your friends families and colleagues until we meet again in my next video bye bye